Hey, Stephen, how are you, buddy? All right. David. Is that something you do over the computer, or do you have to physically go to a class? Well, we have lectures typically in the morning. Uh -huh. We have been having them over at the law school initially, but then the NCDC, the National Criminal Defense College. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. My name is Drip Drop, and I'm your host as I usually am. Anyways. Tonight I present to you unseen footage of Stephen McDaniels as you requested. A Boma Decimine specially requested this done in the comments. He's the only person on the planet that thought of this. And he gave me the idea so I requested the footage and now I present you the footage. Stephen McDaniels was brought down to the police station about 12 hours before his lengthy police interrogation that most of you have already seen. If you haven't seen it, it's available on Crime Circus Cult with enhanced audio. Anyways, they had him sitting in the police station for about two hours, 12 hours before his lengthy interrogation. <laughs> then a detective comes in and questions him briefly. And that's what we're gonna get to watch first. And then after we watch this unseen piece of footage, there is extra footage of Stephen McDaniels with Sergeant Scott Chapman. It's very brief. But nonetheless, it's unseen, and this is a worldwide exclusive, and you're seeing it right here at Crime Circus. So I'm going to present you these two unseen video clips, and then we're going to meet up again at the end of this video. Now let's see what Stephen McDaniels has to say for himself during these two clips. Hey, Stephen. Hey. What's going on? How you doing, man? Worrying. Yeah. I just finished talking to the detective. I mean, nothing new as far as he said. I'm gonna try to finish my too. I guess it's a water book. Yeah, I'm sorry it's taking so long. No, it's fine. Uh, you know, I'm Detective Patterson. I took your mm -hmm. statement a while ago in the Secretary's office. Yep. I just want to clarify some things about your mm -hmm. statement. Uh, I asked you to come down here today because you're Lawrence's next door neighbor, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, you, you told me in your statement that you've been home all week, right? All weekend? Mm hmm. And uh, you ain't been out of town or anything. Has anybody come and stay visit you while you were at home? No. Mm -hmm. You didn't have no friends over? Mm hmm. Anybody see you this weekend that you've been home? Ah. Uh, I don't know of anyone that would have seen I mean, me. you hadn't taken any trash out this weekend or anything? Mm hmm Where you been eating at? I eat mainly in. I mean, I've got... I mean, did you go to Kroger, the grocery store, or anything this weekend? Ah. Uh, because you said that you normally shop at Kroger in Bakersfield. Yeah, I mean, I, I stockpile as a habit of mine, so I have a bunch of food that I just eat off of. So what you're telling me today is, like, you just stayed in your apartment all weekend? I mean, with bar prep, we we just work on it and work on it. And What's bar prep? The bar in July, to the Georgia Bar okay. Attorneys. We're, I'm in the barbery. Is that something you do over the computer, or do you have to physically go to a class? Well, we have lectures typically in the morning. Uh -huh. We have been having them over at the law school initially, but then the NCDC, the National Criminal Defense College, they came in and they took over the entire law school for a couple of weeks and we got moved over to the main campus. So you, you've actually went to a class last week? Oh yeah. I mean, okay, I, so you actually left your house last week, but yeah. this, this past weekend 
which will have been the 25th of June was Saturday, 26th is Sunday. You just stayed in basically the whole day? Yeah, I mean, we didn't have class on the, the Friday. Uh, we had no class on that. And Saturday, Sunday, I just stayed in. Okay, and you never looked out and saw your next door neighbor, Lauren, leaving to go jog or you never heard her front door shut or anybody out there talking until you looked out and saw her friends out there, which would have been last night. Yeah, I heard Garen and Ashley outside and opened the door to see what was going on. They were about to go over to law school, I guess. I called over and found out that Lauren had been missing. Okay. And uh, I had asked you in your statement because I... I've asked everyone that's living in that, that lives in that apartment complex if it would be all right for us to search their apartment, give me consent to search. Uh, I explained to you that you could be there when I'm doing this, that I'm not going to just, if you give me permission, run over there and search your apartment without you being there, correct? I mean, you understood that, right? Yeah. I'm asking that I would be there and that uh, no one's going to search your apartment without you being present, right? Mm -hmm. And in your statement, you stated that you did. You didn't want me to do that, or I'm trying to find out where you. Yeah, I mean, I've got several firearms that I own, and I, I'm always. I don't want other people. Well, how many firearms do you have? Uh, I've got a semi-automatic rifle, and then I've got two handguns as well. Well, you understand that we're trying to locate Lauren. She's I missing, know. and uh, you stated that you're willing to do anything to help me. I mean, if I can help, I will, but... By helping me, uh, I've asked everyone there, and everyone in the apartment complex has agreed, except you. I, it's, it's the lawyer in me, I suppose. I mean, what can I say? I, I was I'm just, I just needed to know, know, you know, the reasoning behind you not doing it. You just, uh worried that I'm going to mess with your firearms I mean, if you're standing there? No, nah, I'm, I'm always just protective of my space. I, I, What's, it's... Did you hurt your nose or something? Where? The red mark on your nose right there. Huh? How'd you get that red mark on your nose? Huh? Is that a mirror? Yeah. I'll show you. How'd you get this down, this mark down here on the chin? I, uh, place I've been picking at. Problem is this hair right here, right in there. I don't know what it is. It gets infected or ingrown, and I, whenever I just scratch it at it, it starts to get irritated. So you don't want me looking in your apartment at all? I, if you want to look there and see if Lauren is there, I'll walk you through it. You don't have no problem with that. No, no. Okay, as long as you're present. Yeah. Okay. What kind of car do you own? It's a 97 Geo Prism. Is it out there in the parking lot? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I could take you over there and we can walk through together? Sure. That's fine. Okay. I appreciate it. Uh, and you said it that you, the last time you seen Lauren was? Either, either last week or the week before. But it's, it's been think, a few days. Yeah. I, I, like I said, I think it was either the 17th or the 20th. Those were the two days we got put over in Willet. Do you remember anybody saying anything about somebody trying to break into Lauren's apartment on Thursday? Yeah, we, we'd we gone into her apartment and, um, let's see, I think it was Joe, Joe Cairns, he got on her computer and checked her email to see when she'd sent stuff out of class. And there was a message that she sent at 10.13 and she said that she thought someone had tried to break into her apartment on Thursday night. Well, me and you are going to ride on over there, and I, I'm just going to walk on in with you and just look around, make sure she ain't in there, and that'll be oh, it. Certainly. Uh, you have to use a restroom or anything? Cause, all right. Hang on one second. Let me see if I can get somebody to ride with me. Right. You're good to go then. I'll leave the store. I'll be right back. Hang on one second, I won't take you home with me, right? Mm -hmm. Hang on one second.
Vamos a ver. Hey, uh, before we go, stand on up. I'm gonna take you home. You don't have no other marks on you, do you? Don't so. You don't mind lifting up a shirt for me? I mean, if you don't mind. Yeah. You mind lifting up again? What's that right there? Huh? I scratched myself in my sleep, I think. You scratched yourself in your sleep? I mean, I had a spire on my What was on your back? Did something bite right. you on your back? Where? Lift it up for me. Turn around this way again. Where did you get bit? I, I didn't bite me, but I had a spider on my neck that I swatted. It might have gotten on me there. I don't know. That's a big old... Yeah, That's a big old scratch or something, ain't it? You don't remember when that happened? I don't know. Hmm. All right, come on. Can I leave my coke in there? Mm -hmm. Hang on, come on, bud. Me and I'll ride you back home. <coughs> well, I guess Tonight, because they'd ask a few more questions. I have nothing to say without my attorney. You don't want to hear what we have? Yeah. All right. I want my attorney. All right. Just hang tight for a second. Looks like you've been putting on a little weight in there, man. I'm just talking casual, not about anything right now. You can feel free to talk. You want anything to drink or anything? No. <sighs> Have you been eating good? Did you use the restroom or anything, Steve? No. Wayne, they got you on over there. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like the beard. Hey. Uh, get your cuffs with you. Mm -mm. Come on. Well, I'll stay 
saying you were dumb. I'll go find saying you are. I'm good. Right. Okay, sorry. I wish I could let mine grow out, but they won't let me have one working here, man. Has it reached that point where it started itching yet? See, if you don't feel comfortable me talking, man, just let me know. I'm just trying to talk casual with you. I have nothing to say. Have I done something to upset you or anything? Has it been treated good down there at the Duke County LEC? Okay. Like you get a little color back in your hands. Last time you looked so pale and stuff. And your eyes aren't as dark. Look like you've been getting a lot better rest, man. Stephen, who is your attorney? Floyd Buford. Floyd Buford. There's my TV. Get this stuff up. Don't leave that saw out. Come on. Well, you've made it to the end. Congratulations. There's no real rewards or prizes other than personal self-satisfaction and feeling good here at Crime Circus. I always want you to have a good time and feel good. Shout out to Boma Desaline. He requested this footage. He's the only person on the entire planet that thought about asking for it. So I obtained it because that's what I do. Even nearing 200,000 subscribers, I still try to read every single comment and it's impossible to reply back to everybody nowadays, but I'm still trying my best. And I'm always here for my circus family and the circus cult and everybody that stops by Crime Circus. Thank you very much. I've got a lot of other cases I'm working on, a lot more unseen footage from other cases that some of you have requested. I've even got an interrogation of a subscriber that was interrogated. That's coming soon, but it's just not ready yet because I have other cases I'm releasing first. Make sure you're subscribed, bell notifications turned on, and make sure you're subscribed to Crime Circus Cult. That's my second channel. I'm releasing other videos over there. Interrogations and some body cameras are coming too. I'm on Patreon. I have a YouTube membership. I'm in the Cash App. There's a super thanks button below every single video. If you want to support this channel, thank you. If not, that's okay. I'll still be presenting these videos. But I do appreciate all the support that I do get. And my longtime viewers and subscribers and members, thank you so much. This show has always kept improving, and I earned this award behind me because of you. And for that, I'm forever thankful. Not a whole lot of YouTubers ever achieved the 100k status, and now we're about to hit the 200k status. The haters have doubted me since day one. But the people that have believed in me have outnumbered the haters 3,000 to 1. So thank you for that. Because your belief, encouragement, kind comments, likes, sharing, and spreading the word to your friends and family has helped this channel grow and keep growing. And we're still the fastest growing and now Crime Circus Cult is even faster growing. We've got about 30,000 subscribers over on Crime Circus Cult. Pretty amazing. Wow. <laughs> Seriously, it is impressive. Anyways. Until next time, remember to stay safe out there because you know it's a dangerous world.